Welcome back, gang. So now that we have our default image set up and our user can log in and can essentially change it, but it won't work correctly right now, we need to add some new fields to this um, this edit page. So how we do that is we go to our resources JS pages. Now the one we're looking for is the profile folder. This is what comes standard with um, the default installation. So we would go to update profile info and then scroll down to the form. So here we have name, email, and that's all that's set up. So we need to add our, our own fields that we created when we set up the authentication. Okay, so now I'm just gonna copy a little bit of code um, and then I'll go through with you everything that's in it. Okay, if we go to under name and paste in, um, this is our username field, so it has styling. Uh, it's the label for the field. It's username, username. The input ID is username, type, text. We have some classes on it, and it's... Um, it's bound to the form username, which we'll put in in a second. Uh, we also have an error message set up for it for um, for our validation. Okay. The other field that we need to put in is gender. So I'll grab that, and this we're going to put under our email. Uh, our email input field. So again, styling, we have label gender gender, we have a select uh, that's bound to our form model. Um, it's, it's bound to our form gender. Uh, same thing with the option gender male female. So essentially just like it is with the registration and login pages. If you're not sure um, what that looks like you can go ahead back to that video. I think it's number two or three um, I don't remember okay so now we want to scroll down and we want to add these fields uh, to our form so copy paste and the first one is going to be username and this user username and then the next one we're going to put is our um, our gender fields but this one's a little bit different because we created a new um, table for the profile information and gender is part of that table so we also need to add profile dot gender okay so that should be set up there let's scroll down and see if there's anything else we might need which I don't think we do Nope, everything else has already been filled out for us. So now if we go back to our page, we should see our new fields. Okay, and now we don't. So let's see what's going on in our inspection tools. See what the error is. Console. Okay, let's scroll up. And now it says, cannot read property gender of undefined. Okay, great. Now remember I said earlier that we would, because we had in another profile table, we have to now link that to our user model. So the cleanest way to do it for right now, we're going to change it later, but um, for right now this is good. I'm going to copy and paste some more code. And then what we're going to do is go back to our user model, or go to our user model, we haven't been there yet, uh, models, user model, and maybe we can add it here. After our appends, we'll go ahead and paste this bit of code in, okay? Now what this does, oh, we need a um, semicolon, okay, what this does, as you can see, it, this is a relationship that should always be loaded with 
the model. So it's the profile model. Well, I don't think we need that here. No, we shouldn't need that here. Oh, this is what we don't need. Okay. And so let's go and check and see if we're still getting an error. So refresh. Okay, no error and we have all of our fields. Great. So let's take a look at the public folder storage now as you can see the only images that we have are the images that we've personally put in not any new profile images so that's going to change in a bit what we're going to do is we're going to test out the image file since we changed it we want to add see if we can update it if this works then all the other fields should work as well so we'll go ahead pick an image open okay it's already updated there or that's just the preview rather and then we click save okay and if everything works correctly then it should be up here okay now the reason for this is we did everything right but the reason for this is because in our environment file uh, we go down 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 to our environment file this app URL is not um, this isn't the URL we're actually using. We're actually using localhost. So we do need to change that to localhost. And if you're working on something like this and putting it to production, uh, most likely you would just end up having to change this to whatever the name of your website is, your domain name. Okay, so let's click refresh and see if it'll show up now. Okay, we might have to stop it and start it again, or maybe it did it. Let's try it again. Let's try and refresh and see, because I'm really, I like this new auto refresh on the um, server, but it doesn't always work 100% of the time. Yeah, so let's go ahead and stop it. And you just press Control C to stop it, and then add it back php artisan serve and let's just add colon 8000 since that is the port name and see if that all works together okay now we'll refresh it again and hopefully fingers crossed this will work Okay, great. Now we have a new image here and here. No errors or anything. So let's try it again just to be sure. Select a photo. Uh, we'll pick this one. Click open. And then we scroll down and save it. Fantastic. Now it's saved here. It's saved here. It works. And the other cool thing is that even though we didn't add a different folder if you go to the um where were we were in public okay now you can see there's a whole new profile photo and it has our image and even though we changed it it works automatically so that if someone changes the photo it'll delete it from this folder automatically without us having to do anything else and that's just part of the default setup which i think is i hands down that's one of the best features of this uh, laravel 8 setup um okay so i think that'll be it for today uh, i'll go ahead and post the code up to github and i'll see you guys next time